Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com in our series called Take Aim. For our 11th episode, we're going to look at a question that ties nicely into our last video on picking the right pellet. The question is simply this, what is the effective range of my airgun? Most of the time people want to know how far it will be effective on small game. But before we get started, I want to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring this series in our channel. You can get links to the items used in this episode at www.airgunweb.com. Just look at the Take Aim section of the site. So let's get started. Hunting with an air gun is seldom ever about raw power and almost always about precision shooting. Some of the most powerful 22 caliber PCP air guns can't come close to the energy in the lowly 22 caliber long rifle. So you have to look at air gun hunting very differently than hunting with traditional firearms. I have people ask me all the time for an air gun that can shoot better than one inch groups at 100 yards. And oh yeah, it needs to be under $100. This is completely unrealistic on basically every level. There are few off the shelf high powered firearms that can shoot one inch groups at 100 yards, much less air guns. The first thing you need to do when thinking about air gun hunting is to set some very realistic expectations. The first thing you and I are really going to need to do is set our ego aside in favor of smart choices. The bottom line is that most decent air guns are far more accurate than either you or I can shoot them. A quick Google search and you're going to find that it takes between 5 or 6 foot pounds to humanely kill a squirrel or small rabbit with the right shot placement. Now my Trail NP generates around 6 foot pounds still at 100 yards. Does that mean it's appropriate for me to take that shot? Probably not. The likelihood of me hitting my target and achieving a clean kill is probably less than 1%. Part of that is the nature of a 100 yard shot, but the bulk of it is on me as the one pulling the trigger. It's just not a smart shot and will likely result in a miss, or worse, wounded game. So what is your effective range with your air gun? There's an easy test that will show you exactly what that range is. First thing you're going to want to do is pick up a couple Gamo knockdown field targets like these. Not only are they good training, they're a lot of fun and they're only about 20 bucks a piece. Next measure. And I say measure because most people don't really know what 10 or 20 yards actually looks like. So measure 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 yard distances. Now set up your knockdown target at 10 yards and shoot for the kill zone. If you hunt freehand, then shoot freehand, don't use a bench. If you hunt with a rest, then by all means use a rest. The point is to recreate a typical hunt. If you can hit 5 out of 5 at 10 yards, then move the target to 15. Simply repeat this test at the various distances until you can't hit 5 out of 5 each time. At that point, your previous position is your maximum range. If you're honest with your range and your shots, your ego may take a bit of a hit. In the end, it's about ethical hunting practices and only taking shots that will result in a clean, humane kill. If you want to be effective with an air gun for small game hunting, then you need to find the right gun and the right ammo. Generally speaking, you get what you pay for. The really inexpensive guns really don't give you the consistent accuracy that you need for small game hunting or pest control past 10 yards. Some even have right in the manual, maximum range of 11 yards for best results. So set a reasonable budget of say two or three hundred dollars. Next don't get suckered by velocity claims. Most are inflated and achieved only with highly inaccurate lead-free ammo. A moderately fast 22 caliber pellet gun is a really optimal choice. Something like the RWS 34 or the Gamo Silent Stalker Whisper IGT and of course the Benjamin Trail NP All Weather, those are really all good options that can deliver very repeatable, respectable results. The real key to your success when hunting with an air gun is going to be practice, practice, practice. The more familiar you are with your gun, the better your results are going to be, and the more consistent you're going to be in the field. Well, this wraps up another episode of Take Aim. I'd like to thank Pyramid Air for helping us out with this video and for their continued support of this series in our channel. 
please be sure to visit my site, www.airgunweb.com, for a list of all the items we used in this video, along with related links. Until next time, this is Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.